Hi, we're Story Fandom, and we have a different background this time. Figured why not change things up, you know, keep it interesting. I'm waiting for it to judge me. I just didn't want to be washed out against the wall. Oh. I think she looks great, but... My hair, like, blends in with the wall. It's like, where does Brandy begin? And the wall ends. No idea. I'm just saying. Right here. <laughs> um, so uh, we're here doing another Supernatural review We just watched episode 3 <sighs> It's okay Our redhead was sad about the other redhead with Rowena's fate. I personally think that Dean I even cried at Catch. Yeah, she cried at Catch. And Ke you remember last of you. She hates Catch. Although, Catch was good too. I mean, that's some, that's some brutal. And we've always joked about that. I'm going to rip your heart out and show it to you. But she actually did that shit. Just... But, um... You know, honestly... One of my takeaways from this episode that frustrates me, I think Dean's being a dumbass. I mean, come on. Okay, I get that you're mad about your mom, I get that you're mad about the world ending, but Kaz has been your friend for how long? How many times has he saved your fucking ass? I mean, goddamn, he brought you back to life. And you're just gonna say, Nah, I don't like you anymore, Kaz. Fuck you. Get out of my bunker. And he has lost his mom how many times? And the last time was Kaz's fault, basically. No. Last yeah, because he lied about Jack. He lied about Jack being okay. He hid the fact that Jack wasn't okay. Okay. And Dean had to lose his mom all over again. Okay, but... And not only that, but he had to see her, like... So you think, yeah. her, you think what her Dean's basically doing is good? Her empty vessel. Yeah. You think what Dean's doing is good? You agree with me? I don't think it's, it's not good, good, but it's but not I understand stupid. where it's coming from. You're telling me that if hypothetically your brother knew that your other brother was going to murder your mother, that he had completely snapped and instead of doing something about it, hid that fact from everybody, and then your mom died because of it, and then you had to stare at her lifeless cold body just lying there on the ground you would be okay you would be like it's okay Tommy you stay with me we've been best friends again it's okay you're telling me it would just be fine he already lost his mom once okay and then he lost her through the apocalypse world and then he lost her with the abandonment issues when she just couldn't quite deal. And then he loses her fully again. And this last time she could have been saved had Cass said something. <sighs> I still think it's a stupid move. I think it's true to character. That's now, I'm not what saying he does. it's not true to character. Here's the thing I'm not saying it's not true to character. I just think it's dumb. Why? Because the big difference that blows a hole in your whole uh, using my real family <laughs> as an example um, is that Kaz has saved Dean's life so many times. They have counted other time and time again. Has Kaz made mistakes? Yeah. But Dean's made a lot of fucking mistakes too. Yeah. So has Do Sam. they ever fully. My point is. State. That. My point is that no, they have all, not just that, they but they don't fully forgive three. each other all the time. No, but then it takes time. It takes time, Even but the, the sort of shutting him out and letting him walk away. If you, I get it, taking time to recover. I get it matches well with character. I'm not saying it's bad writing. I'm just saying, and personally, really, in really terms of the story, I think 
chose to leave. Yeah. But then he didn't choose to stop him. He he didn't want him to go though, obviously. Okay. So what if it wasn't Kaz that was going to walk out? What if it was all Sam's fault that mom had died and Sam was going to walk out? He would have let him walk out him because walk out. he He's has let right. him walk out before. You're right. He would have. Would you have thought he was stupid to do so, though? That's no. my point. No, not really. I keep coming back to is I get that it's in character. I get that it all makes sense. I get that he's upset. But I personally feel like that character is being dumb. It's okay. It makes sense. In terms of his character, but I think Dean is being dumb. Well, he didn't kick him out. He didn't yell at him or anything like that. He just didn't stop him. I'm sorry. This is not some cheesy fucking romance movie where he's going to be like, I'm just no a boy. Kids. No. Standing in front of a boy asking him to love me. <laughs> it's not that. It's not some cheesy comedy. No. He's not going to compartmentalize because it's the end of the world. He right now thinks, well, it's business as usual now. So if you're going to go, I'm not going to fucking stop you. Because you fucked me. You fucked my family. There's, what do you want me to do? This is gone from romantic comedy to this X-rated porn. I'm using the future point. What I'm trying to Kaz say here is, I would think that them. after this many years, how many times has Dean done something stupid like this? And it's blown up in their faces. And how many times have they gotten ridiculously pissed at him? If he went to walk out those times, they would have let him. But my point they is... They have! Kaz is leaving. Mm -hmm. Chuck is still there. There are still... They don't know that. But there's still stuff going on. So Kaz yeah. walking out is not good because that sets up you're, yet another blowback. You're wanting him to use logic and compartmentalize. And when I want you to do that... You don't want to. <laughs> so why does he have to if you don't? Why does this keep going back on me? <laughs> because it's true. Because you're the one who's wrong. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> My opinion is different than yours. I'm not correcting your opinions. Have you noticed this yet? In this whole argument, I'm I have not, not tried to tell you. I'm correcting your opinion. I'm telling you that that's why. That's what I feel his reasoning is. And and I'm not saying it's, it's not. I just think as a character he's not, being dumb. You don't dumb. have to think that. You can go ahead and think no, he's not. It's not dumb because he doesn't know God is still around. He doesn't know that it's setting it up for blowback because if he did, then they would have avoided the past 15 seasons because he would have had the premonition power and he would have known every time that they made a stupid decision like this, there would be blowback. But... He doesn't know that. He doesn't know any of this. Right now, he thinks we closed the hole, we saved it, the ghost apocalypse is over, everything's back to business as usual. If Kaz wants to go out in a weird way, me I'm, and Sam okay. can deal with it because we've always done that. The reason why I say... I like how mean you are, Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I am no, saying no. here is, the reason why I think he's being dumb, which is my opinion, is because after 15 seasons of this, you think he'd just be really paranoid about this sort of situation. But Dean's wait, not a paranoid wait. type of person. So, I don't understand but that. But if it's true to character, then it's not him being dumb, it's just no. his character. But that's the thing. His character, true to character, he's allowed to be dumb. I know, that's what he's saying. You're saying Dean is dumb. I'm saying he's <laughs> being dumb. And that's okay. But I'm honestly going, God, you're dumb. You're saying, that's fine. You're saying he's being dumb and it's true to his character. No. <laughs> I'm saying his reactions are true to his character. <laughs> I just think that it's stupid to let Kaz walk away. I think that if Dean would really... I'm not understanding what your argument is that. I'm really not. I'm giving up on my argument. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand what your argument is. If you're not arguing to change your opinion, then what is your argument? I'm my argument was that I didn't start the argument. <laughs> I just said, I just think Dean is being dumb. I said that from this episode, the video episode, what I'm taking away from it is I think his decision is not a smart one. What I'm and you guys me. launched the argument. Don't blame me about the argument. I was never arguing. Except you are. <laughs> Only because you keep telling my argument is wrong. It's like, this is my opinion. My opinion is he's being dumb. You don't have to agree with it. 
That is going to be my opinion. But I'm not understanding how we're trying to change your opinion. We're just stating our opinion. By telling me my opinion is wrong! But isn't that what an argument is? But I didn't start it! I know, but, but I, you're but, continuing it! But since, but since uh. our opinion is different from yours, obviously we're not going to say yours is right. No, but you can just say, fine, that's your opinion. I don't think you're correct, but that's your opinion. But you guys aren't like, Isn't no. You're if, you're, if you're saying you're right. not correct, it's saying wrong. I'm actually genuinely getting annoyed by this conversation. <laughs> of course you are. Because it feels like we're just doing a big circle. This is a terrible video. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing now? Max, I need a, I need a service animal now. Mm. Huh? Your thoughts on the episode? I was basically giving my thoughts on the episode this whole time. On the whole episode, though. That's the it. The catch thing, the villain thing, the ghost thing, the random hunters who we have never seen before and will never see again, I'm sure. Not that often. I'm still reeling from Rowena. It wasn't fair. I'm sorry, sweetie. I just don't even have the words. I just don't understand why. I know I wanted deaths. But there are some characters you just don't touch. I know the writer said that there were going to be no happy endings. But did they have to end her story like that? I give my opinion, but I'm afraid to. <laughs> well, maybe you can look at it as it being the ultimate redemption. She went from being the end of the season stinger, look at next season's <laughs> bad guy, pinning guys to the wall. Did I look at Crowley's death like that? No! I'm afraid of my opinion. I should have trusted my feelings. I'm not saying it shouldn't hurt. It's good that the show is so good and that you are so invested that it hurts. But I mean, of all the ways to go out, the only small comfort I could offer is at least she went out in the most heroic way she could for her character. There are so many worse ways she could have had, you know, her unhappy death. Of the ways to go out, if they're going to try and make sure nobody has a happy ending, at least she got a good heroic one, and not like a oh she died in the alley, or you know not a her heart was ripped out and shown to her sort of moment. And they gave her a really good heroic death. I don't know. I mean, they had the music and, and flowy dress and all that. I mean, it's kind of telling, but still. Yeah. And to come as far as she did from being the the next volume, uh, next volume, uh, next season bad guy to you know l reluctant helper to eager helper to kind of like their crazy aunt who likes witchcraft to a true hero. She had a great story arc. Mm -hmm. She didn't even make it to like halfway. This was what, episode three? But yeah. she made it to the last season. But she didn't even make it to where the middle didn't make it that far. part of the episode. Yeah, she did. I mean, the middle part of the season. Yeah. I mean, look at, you know, Charlie did make it to the season. Not the same. I can't think of any of the red to put on the show. It's not the same. So, since this is kind of dying off and must not be interesting to watch, uh, any other parts of the episode people were, uh... That part with Jack was gruesome. Yeah, that mm. was pretty gross. 
It was like a bones episode. That's what it looked like. It looked like a body from a bones episode. Oh, just borrowed a, a set piece. Save some money. Aren't they on the same channel? No. Bones mm-hmm. was on Fox. No. I got nothing. I mean... If that was her plan all along, why'd they even do the belt for boy thing? I That's what I don't understand. Is no, that was her plan all along because she was looking at the book of the damned, and she was looking at a page, and she wouldn't tell Sam what it was, and she chose Sam to stay back because she knew that her death would only be permanent See, if it was Sam. Well, I so think why did they even do the Belphegor part? Why did they go to hell? <laughs> I think she did that because I think it wasn't exactly her original plan, but I think it was a backup plan that she knew would work if the if the original plan didn't work, but they still wouldn't have liked. Okay. And that's why she didn't mention it before. But how did she know the whole Belphegor thing went sideways? She didn't to know, then do but the she thing. she didn't know, She's but magical. she. Even Sam said it, it didn't might. Feel right. might. Something like but, that might happen. But how would they know how it's supposed to feel? They don't know how it's supposed to feel. So they don't know that something went wrong. So then she doesn't know she needs to do her backup plan. I think that was her plan all along. I think that's why she, she kept Sam. And she, I think she was going to do that no matter what. So why do the Belphegor put? Okay, I gotta she, agree here with Julia. She, you know how she was able to feel the ghosts and stuff as she was like doing her first spell. But that was only she, because of the spell. But because she was doing the spell that she was doing then, she felt like at, like as she was doing the spell, she felt Even that maybe she felt. She felt. She felt. Okay, if I may, whatever. Maybe she felt that something went wrong with the ghosts and so she knew something went wrong and so she knew that her she had to do the thing uh, with I assume the reason why they all got kind of nervous then is because they'd all expected the whole no. horn thing to keep going the entire time okay. But, but, okay. so when it stopped early okay, the spell she was doing the one that she was doing to close up the earth, she still had to do it to close it up behind her. So, like I said, I think her plan was always to do what she ended up doing and closing up the earth. So I think her whole plan was A, start the spell to close the earth. B, start doing the other spell. C, have Sam kill me and then I jump into the already partially closing earth and take all the ghosts with me. But so again, why Belphegor? Because she didn't have much to say in that. Maybe she went along so they would go do their thing and then she got a chance to do her to plan. To them distracted. So if that really was her plan the whole time, which I actually still agree with Julius and think it was a backup plan, then if, if you are right and that was her plan the whole I time... I can see how it could have been her plan though. Because... Like you said, she didn't have much of a say in that. Belphegor is the one who came up with the Lilith's, Lilith's Crook thing. And she found something in the Book of the Damned, which was probably that spell. Yeah. So maybe she just left And she that is the one who said she want, She called dibs on Samuel. Yeah. So it probably could have been her plan the whole time. It actually probably makes, it makes more sense, actually, when I think about it. Well, I'm still upset. Yeah, I'm so frustrated, but for all the different reasons. <laughs> God, I'm gonna need to the deal. I cried she during did. the episode. I'm glad this isn't one of those reaction videos because then you would have all seen me cry. You know, all like ten of you. Yeah. We have 18 subscribers, but like not very many people watch these. Yeah, not very many people watch the Supernatural ones. Yeah. 
Don't worry. We'll keep making them, and eventually, maybe you will watch them. So, um, anyway. I guess we're going to sign off so that we can uh, hug our perspective service animals. Come here, Max. Max! 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 He's busy nibbling okay. his legs. Say goodbye, Max. Or not. He says, I want my mom. Okay. Bye. If you like our craziness, go ahead. Like, seriously, seriously. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Sorry I yelled. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode.